Hello everyone. Once again, here I would like to welcome you all into the class of chemistry. In last couple of lectures, we are going to start our syllabus topic, and the name of topic is nothing but catalyst. So, in this catalyst topic, we will going to see the concept of catalyst, its definition, history, how the catalyst world will become in chemistry. Who will going to develop or who will going to coin this concept at first in chemistry? After that, our later world, the classification of catalyst, and this classification will be take place on the two different bases. Out of that, first basis is on the basis of activity of catalyst, and second basis is on the basis of mechanism of reaction. On the basis of activity of catalyst, catalyst. Will divided into two different types first one is positive catalyst and second one is negative catalyst positive catalyst will be increase the speed of reaction while the negative catalyst will be decrease the speed of reaction and later on that we will going to start the concept of catalyst dividation on the basis of mechanism of chemical reaction and on this basis catalyst is again also divided into two different types first one is homogeneous and second one is heterogeneous in homogeneous catalyst the reactant and catalyst will be present in same phase that phase may be solid may be liquid or may be gas exactly opposite in case of heterogeneous catalyst we are the reactant and catalyst will be present in different phase and at the end of this topic we will going to start last but very important concept in to the study of catalyst and this concept is nothing but catalytic catalytic promoter catalytic Promoter. Now we know that the function of catalyst is to boost the speed of chemical reaction. Now this catalyst will take some energy from another substance, and this substance is nothing but promoter. Means. The promoter is nothing but it is an substance. It is an substance. It is also used in chemical reaction. It is also used in chemical reaction, and it will be increase the activity of catalyst. Activity of catalyst. means the catalytic promoter is nothing but it is one of the substance it is present in chemical reaction and it can increase the activity of catalyst means the function of promoter is nothing but to activate to activate catalyst so the catalytic promoter is nothing but it is one of the substance which is used in chemical reactions here the catalyst is already present and this catalyst will be activated by means of this promoter now due to addition of this catalyst into chemical reaction the activity of catalyst will goes on increasing the arrow represents into the upward direction it will be indicated that the rate of reaction means conversion of reactants into product will be goes on increasing so that by using promoter we will going to activate catalyst now we will take one example and understand how this promoters will be work 
we know that during the manufacturing of ammonia we will take one example during the manufacturing of ammonia gas we will use haber process haber's process where nitrogen and hydrogen gas we will going to use and form ammonia nsds look at the reaction reaction is nothing but n2 plus h2 use nh3 nitrogen is present in gas form hydrogen is also present in gas and ammonia is also present in gas phase we are iron is used as a catalyst but these iron catalyst will be activated by means of yomo molybdenum and this molybdenum is nothing but this is an promoter in this reaction the iron catalyst will be activated by this mo and this yomo nothing but molybdenum and this molybdenum substance which will be useful to activate iron and when this iron catalyst will be activate the conversion of this reactor means nitrogen and hydrogen into ammonia that's why the use of catalyst will be beneficial for us because the rate of reaction will be increased automatically formation of product take place very well and very comes in short period so this is our about the concept of catalytic promoter in our mcq exam one question will be asked the function of catalytic promoter is nothing but dash and in our options one of the option is to activate catalyst or to increase the activity of catalyst and that option will be correct this is all about the catalytic promoter concept now we are going to proceed the last point of our syllabus and the last point is nothing but industrial applications of catalyst whatever the catalyst will be present in whole or our world this catalyst will be used in small scale in educational college research laboratories but this catalyst will be used in large scale in different industries so there are thousands of catalyst and that catalyst will be used in industries how it is used we will going to see the industrial applications of catalyst at first first application is the thing but during the manufacturing of ammonia during the manufacturing of ammonia haber's process will be used haber's process will be used where the catalyst is present iron during the manufacturing of ammonia using Haber's process. Haber is nothing but it is the name of scientist, and this iron is present in the form of catalyst. Second industrial application is during the manufacturing of sulfuric acid by using contact process. By using contact process. platinum is used as an catalyst platinum is used as an catalyst third very important application of industrial catalyst nitric acid and this nitric acid we will going to form by means of oswald process and in this reaction we will going to use the platinum gauze as an catalyst as an catalyst fourth one is manufacturing of acetic acid this will be manufacturing by means of acid 
cristaldehyde reactant and vanadium pentoxide catalyst will be used. Last application of catalyst is ethyl alcohol will be manufactured in the different industries. We are start is used as a starting material and we will going to form ethyl alcohol in the presence of catalyst maltose and diastase. So these are the five different applications of catalyst which will be used in industries. Here, if we give the names, then th these are the nothing but products. This is the process, and this is the catalyst. This is the catalyst. If you take all this information in tabular form, then we will be able to well understand how the catalyst. So, this is all about the term catalyst in chemistry. In last concept, we will be able to see the different types of products will be formed in chemistry or in industry. But this product we will be able to form by using such type of catalyst. Such type of catalyst. So, this is all about the topic catalyst. Thank you. Thank you very much.